Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jared. Um, remember guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, this morning I'm having breakfast. I just got done making breakfast. Um, I thought it would be nice to do like a story time. And um, I want to go to story time on something a little bit different. I think I want to call like since I haven't breakfast with me, breakfast with Jerry, maybe I can make this like a series and stuff of just story time, different story times with me. So, but um, this story time is going to be a little bit different. Um, well, it's not be different. It's my first one. I can't even say it's going to be different. But, um, but yeah, but um, um, my story time, I guess, is going to be about, um, I guess, my coming out story. Um, since I'm gay, you know. Um, and I think it's, I think it's not only important for me to talk about my, my coming out, but also my point for viewers, people who are not gay. And, um, I actually had a conversation with my, uh, with one of my clients over the weekend because of the photography and she's a, um, a lady of faith and stuff like that. Um, she's like a very god fearing woman and stuff like that and everything too. But she, uh, but she's also, she's not like very judgmental. She's not judgmental and stuff like that, but she just doesn't, um, She's like, um, she's, what's her right way? She tolerates the lifestyle, but she just doesn't agree with it and everything. And, um, but she wanted to know more about it, stuff like that, everything, curious. And the short amount of conversation I had with her, and that's how we'll discuss more about it and everything, because she really wants, like, she said she wants to think about doing, like, a documentary about it or anything like that. But the, I can't, the, the gif that I got from her, I felt like she thought, like, being gay is a choice. And a lot of people who are not gay or transgender, bisexual, or queer, non-conforming, non whatever it is, and stuff like that, you identify yourself as. A lot of people think it's, um, people think it's a choice. And I'm like, it's not a choice, baby. i like, girl, I've been liking guys, boys, since I was, like, out of the wound. Period. <laughs> But anyways, but yeah, um, I don't, um, but yeah, but, um, but yeah, and I think it's important for me to tell my story, even though I know it's like a thousand coming out stories and everything, but I think it's cost, it's important for me to tell my story because it's a conversation that is constantly going, constantly needs to be had and everyone needs to say their experience and stuff like that for the next generation of young definitely young black gay males after me and stuff like that because with me by having myself and telling my truth and living my truth and living it authentically and stuff i allow the next young boy young black gay males after me to come in this world and be in the world be more accepting of them and them able to live their truth and live their life authentically and i think it's very important Important that I play my role and play my part and everything to. Ooh, I think I'm, I'm getting emotional. Um, I didn't think I was gonna get that emotional, but that's the point. I think also is a point of me doing this channel and stuff too. I wish I would have done it so much earlier, but I was just going through things in my life. <laughs> And so too, but um, I, but yeah, <laughs> um, I'm getting really emotional, but I think it's very important. I really hope that I hope that I'm living my life and stuff really helps the next person, even as one person, to be themselves and everything too. Because we live in this world, definitely not only from, not even from the straight community, but also within uh, the um gay community, definitely the black gay community and stuff too, um. Sometimes you feel, you feel judgment from other gays, and you shouldn't feel that because we all, you all, and then we all like guys, we all like men, <laughs> and everything too. But sometimes people don't want you to always live your, be a true, true self, and everything too. And you see it all the time. Some you'll see stairs and everything too. But yeah, but uh, but I live my my life authentically, and I'm myself, and everything too. And I don't care. I really don't. Um, but anyways, back to my coming out story. Um, so, my coming out story started in middle school. Um, 
like when I was in seventh grade, everything, um, and I'm in seventh grade, I went to Walt Women Middle School and stuff. And um, the school I went to, I went to a very like diverse, very um, very diverse, predominantly white high school and stuff like that. You would say, um, and um, and I was very, I was, and I was popular. I was popular. And stuff, so I would have to say I was popular, but a lot of people know, knew me. Even in high school, I was very popular. I was like, I was um, not only for prom king and stuff like that, and everything too, and everything. But my coming out story started when I was like in middle school. So, um, um, when I was in middle school, um, in seventh grade, I had um, um. People always ask me, like, oh, Jared, some people, like, question my sexuality and stuff like that, because I'm very, like, flamboyant, whatever, and stuff like that and everything. I don't really care. Um, that's me. I'm flamboyant, um, and stuff. I, my flamboyant, whatever, that, that's my film mask energy and stuff, too, but I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm flamboyant. It doesn't matter. But, um... But um, a lot of people would ask me and stuff like that, or they'll talk behind my back and stuff like that, everything about it and everything, like question like, oh, is this gay and stuff like that and everything too. And I think people like people was questioning it. Some people, some people care. Some people really didn't care. Some people just want to know because they was being nosy. And some people were like, oh, okay, whatever it is and stuff like that. So um, towards um, it was like towards the end of my um my my um seventh grade year and stuff like that i was in choir and choir and stuff like that I was like in men, men choir and stuff like that and one of my um i said one of my friends he's one of my friends now so i haven't talked to him in a very in a very long time and stuff like that but uh one of my friends good friends and stuff like that at the um one of my good friends because at the time i don't think we really were friends and stuff too even though we was in choir again and stuff like that but i never felt like we were like we never hung out in the same group and stuff like that but my friend at the time said he came out as um bisexual and it was like the thing around school it was like oh my god this person he's bisexual stuff like that i'm not gonna disclose his name stuff like that because it's i don't even know if it's okay with this his name but i haven't talked to him in a while so I feel more comfortable if the closing his name like later and stuff like that because I don't know what he does now and everything too. He might work for the government or something like that. Yeah, and all that good stuff. But um, and plus I live in DC area, so a lot of people, I don't know. You just I don't I'm feel comfortable. But um, but yeah, but um, um, he came out bisexual and stuff like that, and I was just like, what and everything, and everybody was and everybody was saying that stuff like that. So, and um, I don't know. I felt like and i have to thank him too because i feel like i would have probably never said what i was if i did not know that he was and everything too and i had a lot of supportive friends when i came out too and so um i was like so i was like and then i guess when i really found out and i think it was in choir and i think somebody asked me um i think it was one of my friends that asked me and I think he's um and I think he's um also came out this today. I think he's out to this day cuz I kind of suspect him as well too. <laughs> but um at the time when we were younger and I think he asked me stuff so like just so why are you and stuff like that. And I was like and I think I said, I was like, oh, I'm bisexual. Because most people say that and everything. So I think I'm bisexual, whatever. I know I wasn't. I was gay. And I think I might have said, no, I'm, I think I said, no, I'm gay. And stuff like that, everything, too. And I was just like, I, it is what it is, stuff like that. So I finally went around, stuff like that. So I had some people come to me, like, Jared, are you gay? And stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, I am. And stuff like that. So, and, uh, and, um, it was kind of weird. I didn't really get any, like, like, I didn't get, like, any, like, bad stuff. I had some, like, stupid people was, like, um, uh, but I was, like, mm, that I, like, had class with. It was, like, certain boys and stuff like that. But I was, like, mm, I'm, like, I don't really don't care and stuff, too, about them and everything and vice versa and everything, too. So I was just, like, I really don't care and everything, too. But I think they just said Eric Troy wasn't there yet. And then after a while, um, they was like, okay, and they'll talk to me and stuff like that and everything, too. Not in that way, but, like, as, like, as a classmate and stuff like that. But, yeah, so we, um, so, but, yeah, but, um, a lot of friends like, oh, Jerry, good. I'm so happy for you and stuff like that and everything. I didn't really experience any, 
bad negativity and stuff and i just like went on the rest of my like my middle school so even when i went to eighth grade and stuff like that i was like i was gay and stuff like that and i remember eighth grade year was a really like rare year for me and stuff like that because when i um and it's and the kind of thing i still had like this popularity i feel like i've seen like some none of my nose or something i should just part from me crying <laughs> i'm right i can be mushy sometimes but um but yeah, so we um um eighth grade yeah, I remember stuff too. It was um this one person stuff like that. I consider like my just first love, whatever stuff like that. Amy, um, cause I went to a school, mind you, the school, my middle school that I went to. I went to a middle school where I had a lot of kids that was on like, military and stuff too. So we have like a lot of my friends were like in the family was military and everything. Cause like I lived down the street from a military base. And so it was like kids who live off base who actually live live in that area and it was kids that lived on base stuff like that. So we all kinda of went to school together and everything. So but um I remember that year, um, um, like this one boy and I knew he was like and to this day, I don't think he's out at all, but and everything, but I kinda of had like this on and go on and off kind of thing with um for like until like high school and stuff like that and then it eventually ended and stuff like that and then it almost happened back up when i came back for like my first year of college and stuff like that but and then but it never i feel like it never really we never went anywhere um and we didn't need to <laughs> looking back at it as being grown now and stuff like that looking back at the situation we didn't need to um, but, um, but yeah, but it was just like, it was easy. I just like lived my truth and all my truth and I know who I was and everything too. Um, for my family coming out and stuff too, uh, my mom already knew I was gay. It is what it is. <laughs> and everything too. My mom is so like, my mom, uh, my grand, I mean, uh, my grandma knew and stuff too. The only person who really asked me was like my uncle and stuff like that my my mom's older brother and everything and so he was like so you like and stuff so i was like yeah and my uncle's like cool whatever and so i said my uncle he's like real nonchalant and stuff like that my uncle joe um i love him to death and everything he's so funny and crazy um and everything too but yeah because um and then my mom my mom is actually fight my mom prefers me to be gay over being straight, which I think is so funny. And everything, she's just like, I don't have to worry about being a grandmother anytime soon. And like, all that other craziness. My mom is crazy and funny. And um, I get a lot of my sense of humor from her. But um, yeah, but she, um, but my mom, like my mom growing up, her best friend was gay and stuff like that and everything too. So she just has like all these beautiful memories and when she first started clubbing, she used to go to like the gay clubs in DC and stuff like that. When she was like in high school and everything with her friend, she was like to the club world with fake ID and everything. But it was so funny though, even when I was in high school and stuff too. So I had um my mom worked with like with kids or with not kids, they were like adults, but they were like younger and stuff like that. Cause my mom was like a bartender and stuff like that. So my mom worked at restaurants. So it's a lot of like people like very like twenties like early 20s like like 19 or like 20 21 whatever and stuff like that and um my good friends and stuff like that um that i um came with and everything to my mom we used to go to the club and my mom's like go jerk go like and stuff too so we used to go to this club in baltimore called paradox or the docks whatever and everything so i was like 15 up in there and stuff like that party until like six in the morning and everything too and we wouldn't get back to home back to because i lived in virginia and I, um in alexandria if you know the dmv area and so um and get back to like seven in the morning and everything i always used to do this like sometimes on the weekends and everything it was so lit and i'm like why did my mom let me do that in the first place but to be honest my mom let me like my mom has but i had a for me, I had to grow up really fast. So I had to see, I saw things, experience, experience things much faster than people my age and stuff and everything too. And a lot of people I think I went to school with didn't know that about me and everything too. And because like, I had like this, um, this perception of being like, 
kind of like bougie and stuff like that. Not bougie, well, not bougie in a bad way, but bougie like, oh, there was like, people thought I was like a, like a, um, kind of like the rich black boy, and I wasn't a rich black boy at all, it was like far from it. But, um, but I was at like very nice clothes and stuff like that. I would go shopping, like a lot of people, my, my crew of people I hung out with and stuff like that, we all kind of like, we had nice stuff and everything too, and then people, I think a lot of people admired our stuff and stuff like that and everything too, and like, they just, they they admired it and everything. I don't want to drag on, but anyway. But yeah, but mom, but my mom too. My mom like she, my mom let me like go to house parties when I was like when I was in middle school. Like, I went to my first house party when I was like um in middle school, seventh grade year. I remember because I got invited, and then I went to, and then like I like then from there like I was in middle school because I had a lot of friends in high school. So when I was in middle school, I actually went to high school parties and stuff too, and everything. I used to go to and everything, and then um. Like I stay out to like two in the morning sometimes on a but it's been a weekend after it was like school week. But I'll come back home and stuff like that and everything. And then um and then like by the time I got to high school I was in a club and everything too. So I was like I was moving a little fast and everything too. Cause by the time I went to college, I was like, I've been done this. I've been doing this and everything. Y'all, y'all can't hang with me and stuff like that. But the thing was I never was like I never drunk did I never drank or did drugs or anything, even when I say drugs, I mean like weed and stuff like that. But I never did stuff like that and everything too. I didn't have my first drink of alcohol to like my prom and everything. And that's the first um that was the first time I ever had my first drink and everything and stuff too. Now um after prom and stuff too. And then like when I took college I like drunk like alcohol and stuff like that and everything too. But I waited to like my own terms to do it and everything too. And then on top of that too, I was a part of like different organizations in high school that were like against that and everything too. So I couldn't be like a hypocrite and be doing stuff and, and everything too. But it's like, but I have like I have a natural like lit type of personality. I like to have fun. I love to dance and stuff like that. So I just like have time of my life and everything too and i had chances to be like to drink and do stuff like that but it was just not my character and i was very like very responsible and stuff like that because i had i have stuff to live up to and i had things to do and i had and i had plans for myself and everything and i've been very ambitious very ambitious can't speak this morning very ambitious um my whole life and everything too but anyways but yeah so that's like by coming out i don't have a I didn't, I was lucky not to experience um, a really dramatic coming out and everything too, but I have heard stories and have had friends who've been like kicked out of their homes and stuff like that. And it's like, it's really crazy to me because even my mom and I had those conversations and stuff too. Like my mom was like, I can't understand people, parents who like kick their kid out because they're gay and stuff like that. Like just because of who they love and everything or and like my mom couldn't gasp for that fact, and my mom would say like, "Your mother, not your dad, but your my mom said as a mother, you know what your child is and stuff like that." And most she said, and she like, I really can't stand when like mothers act pretend like they don't know what their child is because you have that mother intuition. You gave birth to this um, person because they grew within your body, so you know who they are and everything and stuff too. But yeah, but um. But um, I'm very blessed and stuff like that to have such a supportive family and everything too, uh, because not a lot of it's it's sad as not sad to say, but it's sad when I hear those stories about kids getting kicked out their home, they live like in shelters, live on the street, and they're put in these survival predicaments where they may possibly have to do things that they would never have done and stuff and everything to get their next meal to get some clothes on on them so that they find some type of shelter or warmth and everything too it is really it really excited me it saddens me and stuff like that and everything too but it's really real and everything but um with all that being said, because I don't want this video to be so super long, but, um, but I just, um, just to let you guys know, it gets, I hate that, I don't like to say because it sounds so corny, but it does get better and stuff like that and everything too. Once you really, truly own your truth, and I think that's a difference between 
what I feel like people in the LGBT, LGBTQ community versus our our um our straight community that when because we have to speak our truth on, on our sexuality and stuff like that they don't so we get to know ourselves truly ourselves stuff like that and once you own your truth and you own yourself and when you get older like it's a thing where you, because you come into your own, you come into your own thoughts and more maturity, and you feel yourself change and then grow intellectually and stuff like that. It may not be physically, but intellectually, and then soon become physically and stuff like your body do change over time. But once you own your sexuality and stuff like that and truly embrace it and everything, you it gets better and stuff like that and you're gonna see the world like the world people around you start changing and stuff and and i think that's why things may seem rough and patchy and stuff because it's like it's the world just trying to change you to guide you into where you need to be at and everything too so to anybody who's like struggling and stuff like that like um and sees this video like comment like comment Comment under. I put my my IG on my all my social media is under my description. I need to start saying that too. Under my description, so just hit hit me up, DM me and stuff like that. I always I speak to everybody. I answer my DMs all the time and everything too. Unless it's on some creepy stuff, I'm gonna just I'm gonna leave it on scene since it's <laughs> a DM. I'm gonna leave it on scene. Can't say right, but I do that to other people too. They come text my phone on some some BS. But anyways, but yeah, but um, uh, but yeah, but like it truly gets is better and like I and definitely for us like us young boys of color that are are gay bi whatever trans queer non-binary and stuff whatever it is and stuff I feel like it's a new term that's being created it's a new term every single day but I can't keep up with but but yeah but like I really 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 am here for us i'm a, i'm an open ear so i can give you the best advice and tell you from my personal experience and stuff and i hope this i hope my story even though it wasn't traumatic tra like tragic or anything stuff like that and everything too but um but i'm here i'm here for you and stuff like that and everything too and this and and I think that this is the foundation of my channel and everything to of me being um being open, being honest and stuff like that. And really you get to see my life as a black gay male and this world that we live in, stuff like that. You get to see from my perspective and how I live my life and everything too. And I'm not perfect and at all. And I'll tell you some stuff I've done. I'm not perfect and everything too. I'm constantly learning and everything too. And I haven't touched my food and my food probably gonna be cold. <laughs> but yeah. But um but yeah. So just let me know. So once again, so make sure you guys I'm gonna close this out. <laughs> Cause I'm rambling, but make sure you guys follow, um, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, comment below, and um, tell your story if you're op if you're a, a a gay person, put your comment below and maybe mention your story and stuff like that. Um, my social media will be in the description the box. My social media is it's at it's Jared Patrick. On my on Instagram and um Twitter is Patrick um at Patrick Star Life, which I need to change my my Twitter name. Even though I really, I don't really be on Twitter like that. I can't lie, I do be on Twitter like that because I love Black Twitter and stuff. Cause the clapbacks and the it, it's just funny. But anyways, on that side note, but make sure yeah, comment below about your story. Um, if you want to reach out to me. Hit me in my social medias below, and I'm free to talk, whatever. And then uh, make sure you guys just like, watch, and view. I don't care. Like, comment, subscribe. And just click that bell and everything. And once again, I love you guys and stuff. Peace out.